Hey everybody, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts, and tonight I am going to be making um, a little table topper. So first thing I want to do is get this plastic off of here. And this is going to be for like a table centerpiece. So I got one of these hanging shells from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to be using the wood. I'm not going to be using this. So we're going to get rid of that, but we will save that though, the ring and the roll. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to take this burlap that I got from Walmart and I am going to cut a chunk out of this and this is going to go on top of my board here. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out a chunk. Alright, so I'm just going to take some Mod Podge. And this is going to go on here. And then I am going to start gluing down my burlap onto the board. So I'm going to go all the way down and with the Mod Podge on here and lay my burlap on top of there. Okay, and then I am going to take my Mod Podge and I am going to go onto the sides of the board here. So, I'm gonna fold this down and then I'm gonna set this down so that it'll dry. And then I'm going to do that to each of the sides here. Okay, now that I have that all down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I am going to put it over my burlap here. So I ensure that it's going to stick really, really good on there. Okay, so now I have my Mod Podge all on there and it's drying. Um, I just had to put a couple corners down to get it to stay, but that I'm going to set aside right now. And then I have these four beads, which I'm going to use as the feet on my stand. And then I have my little pumpkin, which is going to be my base. And this, I am going to use my um, Waverly Antique Wax. And I am going to paint the beads and my pumpkin with the antique wax. So I'm just going to put this on here like this and then once I have it on I'm just going to take this and just kind of rub it in because I'm kind of just going to try to stain it a little bit. Okay I have all these stained and ready to go and this is still a little wet yet but it's good enough to work with so what I'm going to do is I am going to where these little holes are that's how I'm going to judge where my feet are going to go and those I'm just going to hot glue right onto the board here so a little hot glue and then line the little hole up Alright, so I got my feet on there, and that's going to sit just like that. I'm going to set that over here, and then I cut out two little pieces of floral foam, and then that is going to get stuck into my pumpkin here. So I'm just going to stick a little hot glue down in there, and then I'm going to stick my floral foam right in the bottom here. And that one's not going to be quite thick enough, so I'm going to actually stick a second one in there. I had this pre-cut, so it's all ready to go. And that's going to get stuck down in there. I'm going to kind of push it towards the back the best that I can because, as you can see, the floral foam is showing through here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick a little bit of Spanish moss down in there. All right, so I'm just gonna try to stick some Spanish moss in here so I can cover up the green so you don't see that. A 
little bit more. Oh, it's got a big stick in it. Okay, so now I am going to start assembling my, my tabletop here. Now this is going to be two-sided. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to just hot glue this onto my thing. Let me, and my pumpkins too. These pumpkins, pumpkins I got last year at Dollar Tree. I don't know if they have them this year, but I did have them left over from last year. So I'm going to go ahead and stick some hot glue on here and try to center this in the middle. That looks pretty good. And then I am going to hot glue my pumpkins down on each side. Oh, geez. Getting a little crazy here. that and then what I'm gonna do is I am going to I have all these um, flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and that is gonna go into here but I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut this down and do individual pieces okay so I just cut this one down a little bit I think it's gonna be tall enough like this so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this I think in the middle here and then I'm just going to kind of bend it a little bit so it kind of spreads out. All right, and then I still have these flowers and then these big flowers. I'm just going to cut these separately and see if I can stick those in there. And I got these little sprigs too. I think this is going to go in in one piece. I don't know if I should. Uh, I think it might be good the way it is. Let's see if I can get in here with that. Okay, so I think that looks pretty decent right there. Um, and then I'm going to stick a little bit of Spanish moss in here around the top and that I'm just going to kind of tuck in and on the sides so you don't want to see the green on the sides in there so just kind of sticking it in there I hope you can see that for some reason my lighting is really dark tonight I don't know if I screwed up a setting on my camera or what Okay, so I think I figured out what's missing. For this plain side, I just made a little bow out of this pumpkin ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree. Like I said, I am not good at making bows, so I just did the best that I could. But I'm going to stick that bow right here by the stem, and then that's going to fill that in a little bit. So it's not quite so bare over there. I think is going to really fill this in is if I take some of the Spanish moss and stick it on the bottom here. So I am going to grab some of this. It's just going to be kind of sparse, but I think if I put some of this on here, it's really going to kind of fill it in a little bit. So actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these little balls on here first. I just got to figure out where I'm going to put them. Let's just go for it. I'm going to stick these on here. Try not to burn myself. This glue gun, the glue gets so super hot. My finger from before is still stinging from where I hit it. All right, and then I got, or I have four more. So I'm just gonna stick these on here. And then I'm gonna take my Spanish moss and I'm just gonna kinda stick it all over here. So. doesn't have to go too thick because I'm not really trying to cover anything up because I have the burlap on here. So I'm just going to take little pieces and just kind of fill it in everywhere. 
All right, I got all my Spanish moss on there and I kind of trimmed it a little bit and it is finished. I think it turned out pretty cute. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope that you subscribe and hit the little button to get notified when I upload and take care. Bye.